Welcome to Sydney on a beautiful sunny day in their spring, I'm pretty sure, because the seasons are different. There's the Sydney Harbour Bridge. We're outside the Sydney Opera House. Apparently I was here when I was four months old, but I don't remember a thing, strangely. So it was about time I came back. I'm here on a family visit this time, but whilst I'm here, I have to go and check out some Australian railways because I'm here, I'm 13,000 miles away from home or whatever, so uh, we're going to the Powerhouse Museum where one of the oldest Australian engines lives and then the New South Wales Rail Museum in Selmere which is about 90 kilometres south of Sydney because they do kilometres here. There's a lot more to see though, we're definitely going to have to come back and explore more of the railways. I want to go to the Puffing Billy Railway because that is Twin Twister Talaquin and that's something I know of, so we'll be back. But enjoy for now. There's a place called Birch Grove. <laughs> oh, I love it. Road race. It's a little Australian tugboat. Technically still 10 cents, right? Friendship. Oh, I love pasta! Nice. Uh, helicopter, yeah, that's nice. <gasps> they have an engine. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Oh. Locomotive number one. It's Thomas. 1855, wow. Robert Stevenson engine. Look at the pressure gauge. Oh, it's so old. We've got tricots to measure the water. If the water's up to there in the level, then you open the tap and the water will drain out. Once that's empty, you open this one. And below that, you're in trouble. That's so cute, it's just in a little cup. <laughs> oh, what a lovely engine. I've always liked these like, pointy ended tenders, like flared. They're like flared jeans. Coming in and out of fashion. Oh wow, big number one just slapped on the back. Oh, sideways seats. Oh, plush. Ooh. Is this coach number nine? Number nine? Or is this ninth class? It's very bare. Are those wooden? They seem metal, they seem wooden. Interesting class division. A Bolton and Watt engine. Oh, wow. That's come from a long way away. The beach is nice. Lovely sunny day. They're so much nicer than just pigeons and seagulls. Yeah, they're, 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 like, <laughs> they're nice. Just didn't expect to find such like. For them, cool. they're pest. I <laughs> know, oh, yeah, get rid of them. But for me, I'm like, oh wow, we'd go to a zoo to see that. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Hopefully yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. night. Yeah. in the mist. Hello. Welcome to Picton Station. Lovely little station. It's very quiet. Um, we are waiting here because there is a rail tour today. Thank you for those who helped me to, to find out that there was one. With the famous 3801, which is coming to join the train here, which came up from Sydney. Diesel hauled, and they go further south. Uh, and, if you look very carefully, way over in the distance, I think I see the steam engine backing down. So we must be in the right place. It's getting impatient. At least whistle or something, you never record for no reason. What I like is they've still got so many mechanical signal boxes. You can see all the levers and the mechanisms. to the other side of this big loop. And now we wait on the other end of the loop for 3801 to come past here. It's very strange, this is just not like Britain at all. The tracks are just right there. I'm not going to trespass. I'm, I'm on a public path, but like still, it's just strange that it's a lot more lenient. It's just, just like that, you know. Got a great unspoilt view of the train going past, no fence or anything. This one was built in Sydney. They've got a green tank! Oh, it's actually lifting stuff. Oh! Hello! It's an Australian Harvey. Is this a Scottish engine? This is very Andrew Barkley theory. A wee squat. Who's it built by? Oh, it's a dubs. Oh, it's the same as Harvey. It's so far from home. Well, from where it was built. I've seen this one. It's shrunk. Big old wooden buffer beam. Look at that crack. I don't say this often, but wow. Also got a massive dent in the chimney. 
What happened to you, boy? What happened to you? You look friendly. Thomas travels to the ceiling. Help! 1864. It's the same age as Scar Marine or Talisman. Oh, wow. I like to imagine they have tracks. We've got nothing else to do. It does look a little bit in need of restoration. But it's nice, it's preserved. So you can see they've had to like put supports in. This has clearly had a big bash in its lifetime at some point. This whole metal section is just completely bent out of shape. And the wooden buffer beam's not held up much. Wow. The safety valve is so high up. That's incredible. This is a chunky old engine. It's the next railway series volume. Just a gap. Get engine softly. Oh, oh! I don't like that. No, oh, it's not even centered. I, I don't like that. Is that Thomas's face? Oh, it moved. Don't mind if I do. We are at the New South Wales Rail Museum in Thirlmere, somewhere that a lot of you recommended that I visit. You called it the equivalent of the National Railway Museum in York in England, so had to check that out. So far impressed. So you've got the indoor museum there, and then all outside there's a whole storage of collection. Storage of collection. Oh, this is like a James, I know this kind. It's a mogul. It was built in Manchester. The piston rod comes out that far. Goodness me. Oh yeah, it does. This is a shiny diesel. If Thomas was a diesel, he'd probably be this, right? It's a Garrett. Look at the size of that. It's a big old train. <laughs> it's a huge. It's so big. It's got four stars. Although, yeah, as a freight engine, the wheels are actually really small. I know this because I'm small and I'm taller than these. Like a 9F, the middle ones haven't got a flange. They can turn corners. Okay, that's not the middle one, but you get the idea. It's strange having a bogey at the back of the driving wheels. By a peacock. 1956, this is actually quite a young engine, comparatively. Just coming up to the end of British steam. <laughs> I could not imagine driving, let alone firing one of these. Harper. What is this? Oh no, is this for livestock? That's really sad if so. Very decrepit. There's a tank engine. This train can't go. I like this. This is a nice engine. How's your day been? Yeah, good. Not bad. You? Just been staring at your face all day. The frames on this one are strange. Look how much they change. Up and across with a curved frame, then a straight frame like a crab, and down again. 55.95. Oh no, not the lube and brass exam. Fail it. Enough to see coal hoppers like this, especially wooden ones. Very rare. First engine to cross the Sydney Harbour Bridge. That's really cool. Well, we're scared of heights then. Bronze 
wing. This is America. This is a uh, HK Porter. Porter worked at the steelworks. Photo. Oh, it's an even side. Why am I recognising so many of these engines? This is just so far from where I'd expect to see this. <sighs> Take that, Oliver Bullied. And they did double deck trains for four hours. Two claws, hence the name Double Decker. It's almost scary walking through here, it's so empty. <laughs> That's the size of the tent, it's just a slab. Controls are very similar though, to what I'm used to. 3820, resume. This is a sibling to 3801, which we saw this morning. E. one was designed for express trains. Hello. Metal engines can do big things and all of that. It does look like a speedy tank engine to be fair. This is a futuristic engine. From about six years. Tiny tiny wheels. It's, I know it's like for the design, but it's really OCD triggering for the wheels not to be evenly spaced out. Ah. The blokes back in England who built this one would appreciate the care we've taken with her. But jeez, she's got to work a little hard out. Hey Jimmy, you there? Right here boss. Yeah, she's going to work. I reckon we'll be seeing a lot of her. I need a split pin puller and a hammer. <laughs>
prison van. What a specific use. This is so like unnecessary, all this extra space. But whatever. Controversial British ending. It's James. It's literally James. It's Australian James. I don't know how I feel about the green cap, but it's James. Look, it's got a brass dome. It's red. It's James. Hello, James. Hello. Hello my dear friends, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you to the whole of Australia for welcoming us so warmly. If you enjoyed this video, check out parts 2 and 3 because there was so much to see in New South Wales and in the next part we go to the Valley Heights Rail Museum, the Zigzag Railway and the steepest railway in the world. If you want to see it early, then patrons on my channel get early access and their names at the end of the videos, as well as joining our exclusive Discord server. If you join, then there will also be a whole extra video from the Australia trip as well. So do that so I can make future videos. Thanks very much. A big thank you to all of my brilliant patrons. Alex Goodman, GBH Train, D0280 Falcon, Sean Tempest, Nat, Random Thomas Fan, Peter Davenport, Ego, Kildane's Coven, Insane Edward, and Dark White 73.